Welcome back to Teardown. What does a Meg, Ban Ban, Siren Head, and Jumbo Josh have in common? Not much, except for that they're about to get shredded. This is the Shredinator 2000. It's even got like a conveyor belt where all the rubble goes all the way down here, back up again, and just feeds it straight back into the shredder. It's infinite shredding, and I'm super excited. Alrighty there, Ban Ban. I'm gonna pick this guy up. I'm just gonna take him all the way over here. And what if I just drop him on the back edge there? Oh, we've already broken his hips. <laughs> He's walking around with phantom legs. Oh my god, get in there, dude. You're freaking out the kids. Jump, jump into the shredder. There he goes. He is so breakable, that guy. All right, let's go with the Meg. This guy, I think, is made of the tough stuff. And when I say tough stuff, I think he's actually made of concrete. But we're about to find out. I mean, it is a Meg. These guys should be almost unstoppable. Here he goes. I purposely put his tail in so that he would get dragged into the shredder. And yes, he is actually being shredded up. You can hear all the rubble. It's beautiful. Listen to that noise. It's like music to my ears. Come on, dude. Yep, grind him up real good. Do we have any rubble coming through the little conveyor belt? Hey, hey, hey. Get away with them sharp teeth. Okay, we don't... Hey, here it comes. That was Bam Bam's head. It just came out the conveyor belt. Okay, I'm gonna stand over this way where it's safe. Oh my god. Meg has been reduced to almost nothing. Ready to be put in some tins of tuna. Okay, Jumbo Josh, you're up next, and then we've got Siren Head. All right, I'm gonna get Josh all the way over here. Oh, the game just slowed down a bit. That must have been a chunky piece. All right, Josh, get in there, dude. I think Josh is... Oh no, he's very breakable. He's getting smashed up, except he's almost doing a really good job of climbing back out again. Look at him trying to punch his way out. He's like a boxer. <laughs> How is he floating like that? Alrighty, Josh. Ugh, take a spear. That doesn't do anything to him at all. The spears are just bouncing off him. Alright, let me get rid of these spears. We'll throw those away. Okay, I'm gonna use the needler to break him up into smaller bits. There we go. Whoa, the bits are everywhere. And explode. Nice. That does a really good job of breaking him up into easier pieces. What if I was to chuck just a couple of bombs in there? Would that help? Maybe a little bit. Oh, look at all the pieces coming through. Let's check them out. So if we fly over this way, we can see all of the rubble making its way up the conveyor belt. This is such a good piece of machinery. What is this down here that's stuck? What is that thing? There's something caught in the machinery and it's up to me to get rid of the blockage. <laughs> there we go. All right, there we go. Jumbo Josh is actually made out of a pretty tough material. So he does a good job of fighting back when it comes to shredders. Alrighty there, Siren Head. You need to watch out for this guy. This guy will kill you if you get too close. Okay, he's not doing it. <laughs> oh, what happened to him? I think he died. Did you die, champ? Oh, no, no, he's actually killing me. He's pretend- yeah, I died. He was pretending to be dead that whole time. Does this guy actually walk? Not really. He's a little bit more of a ragdoll that twitches. It's a bit creepy. All right, let's throw that guy in. Let's get him in there. Come on, let's destroy the siren head. Ugh, God, he's got long limbs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, stay away from me. Oh, no way. He's made out of an almost indestructible material, like the Captain America shield, I guess. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, let's hit him with the plane gun. Uh, did that do much? I think I broke my shredder. Oops. Uh, I don't think the shredder's supposed to do that. I think it's definitely busted. All right, can I straighten it back up again? Yeah, there we go. This is actually a really good shredder. This is one of the best shredders I've used in the game because you can fix it when it breaks. All righty, guys, we destroyed the Meg. Now it's time to destroy Bloop. I'm gonna put him up here like this so that hopefully his face swings down. Perfect and gets grinded up by the shredder. Oh my God, that is actually really full on. <laughs> it's getting him good. And the fact that his tail's stuck means that his head doesn't go anywhere except for in the shredder. Oh, bloop, that's gross. Oh yeah, anyone like seafood? That is disgusting. <laughs> Who would eat bloop? Okay, maybe if I would, if it was a bit tasty, you know what I mean? Like he's, maybe he tastes like bacon or jerky, a bit of bloop jerky. All right, I'm gonna hit this guy with a nuclear strike. He is so big, he needs it. He needs that nuke. Yeah, there we go. Okay, how are we doing down here? It's a little bit slow to grind up the rest of him. I'm gonna see if I can use the UFO to get rid of some of this rubble. All right, UFO comes down, uh, starts to suck up the rubble. That's good. I love how the alien's like, well, if you're not gonna eat it, I'm gonna take it and eat it. <laughs> take it back to its alien planet, feed its entire nation. All right, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, Kraken, you're up. I haven't seen this guy in a while. I don't know how he's gonna go 
against a shredder. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's shredding him good. I was worried he's going to be made out of, like, really strong material. But no, it's getting him in there really well. Oh, look at all that purple guts and stuff. <laughs> Here's someone we haven't seen any while. It's a TV zombie. These guys don't work too well when they're elevated. We're quite high off the ground at the moment, so he's not really walking so well. He's got really wobbly legs. <laughs> very, very drunk for a uh, for a zombie. Hey, hey, dude, just get him in there. Actually, if we make it nighttime, it looks way better. Look at that TV. It looks so cool. All right, let's see if we can pick him up. Come on, champ. You gotta make your way into the into the shredder. It's over here. I just like seeing the TV die. Come on, come on. Break, break the TV. The TV's still going. Come on. There it goes. Oh, oh, almost broke the TV. Will the light go out? It is so close. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> whoa. How is he still going? Oh my god. Ah, oh, there it goes. You can hear the sound of the TV exploding. Killdozer gets all the crappy jobs. Here we go. Let's. Let's do this. Gotta push in the poop. It's not pushing it. He's just going straight through. Oh my god. Oh, it stinks. It stinks. Why would you do this to me, Finpire? Okay. All right. He just drives through and then gets shredded anyway. But he's like, hey, I would rather get shredded than do that ever again. There's no way this guy can actually get shredded up by that thing. Oh, oh. Captain Fills looks worried. <laughs> he's on a suspension. But he's going backwards. Why is he going backwards? He just jumped into the ocean. Oh my god. Okay, let's get a red one. This guy looks a little bit happier. Hey, dude. Oh, they're so wobbly. It's like he's not sure where to stand. Okay, so this thing is so springy. I'm gonna see if I can launch this guy into space using it like a slingshot. Let's just drag it down for a minute. Oh, yeah, 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 like that. Um, that's not gonna work if you just jump into the ocean, dude. Okay, we gotta be quick. And then launch. Nope. It just got stuck. Hang on. Let's pull that thing back again. Hey, come back. Oh, you can actually push it down with him. <laughs> he jumped off again. Okay, you stay there. And then launch this guy. Yeah. He actually got air. That was cool. This thing actually does work as a slingshot really well. Oh, I know. If I drag it down, it tears apart. Wait a second. Let's just leave it there in that locked position. We'll get an orange one and then release it. And it smashes a hole through the actual ground. Oh my god. Okay, Jumbo Josh, how much does this guy weigh? Can he handle a bridge? Oh my god, nope. <laughs> it's collapsing in on him. Oh, he's just jumped into the water as well. Can he swim? Can you swim, Josh? There he goes into the abyss. Ah, oh, this poor bridge. Okay, let's put Josh on the strong bit, which is, I think, right there. What happens now? Uh, he sort of punches the bridge a little bit and then falls over and then just smashes it apart again. What I notice is that these two bits here are super wobbly. So if I lock these into place, that might actually work all right. All righty, Josh, let's go. I'm testing Josh first because the next guy that I'm going to try out, Chef Pigster, is actually way fatter. <laughs> and I'm sure he weighs so much more than Jumbo Josh. No, Josh just went right through the road like it was nothing. Okay, let's try Chef Pigster. Here we go. Oh my God, this guy looks fat. He really does. There's not a chance this bridge can handle him. Yeah, the bridge is just broken down on top of him. What if I just go ugh, and just swing that thing back? <laughs> He's lying on it like a hammock. Ah, oh, down it comes on top of him. Yeah. He's in the water now. He broke the road. So you can see Chef Pigster is definitely giant. This guy is round and chubby. <laughs> He's very awesome. I'm not going to tell you how long it took me to make this guy, but it was quite a while. And he's got kind of weird legs. They're a bit flappy, okay? But that's because they're so fat, probably. But he's lovable. All right. He's so lovable, I'm going to try and crash a monster truck into him. Let's go. Let's see if we can smack this dude real well. All righty there, Chef Pigster. Let's go. Oh, yes. Nailed him. Right in the eye. Oh, man. We took the skin off his eyeball and everything. Okay. Can he still see us? I think he can still see us. Oh, he's actually taking his own skin off using his arm. That's a bit weird. Okay. Oh, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Okay, get out of the way. So, Chef Pigster can't actually hurt you if you get too close as well. Let's just get on the roof here. I'm going to stay up this way. And I'm going to go and try and find the crane that's got like the wrecking ball on the end there. Yeah, this thing. It's like a half wrecking ball, half mace. So cool. Alrighty, how do we drive? Oh yeah, just like this. All right, I'm coming for you, dude. Let's start spinning this thing around. Start getting some good momentum with it. Oh, watch out for the crates. All right, turn around this way. Come on, spin it faster. 
Yes. Oh, cleaned him up. Right in the mouth. Just caught him like a fish. Oh, no. <laughs> no. His head's been taken completely off. But he's still alive, I think. He's supposed to be dead. If they lose their head, hang on a second. Maybe if we destroy the head, then the body will be dead. Wait a second. Is he going to get... No, he's back. Getting back up. Okay. Okay, so if I destroy this... Just like that. The body should fall over and stay down. Yeah, it does. There we go. So I reckon Jumbo Josh is probably the best guy to test out the Reaper Scythe weapon from Sean. Alrighty, here we go, Josh. You'll notice that Josh isn't flicking himself around anymore as well. I managed to fix him when I was working out how to get Chef Pigster to walk. <laughs> Chef Pigster was just rolling around on the ground. It was super embarrassing. Okay, this thing isn't bad. It basically just puts holes in stuff. It doesn't really appear to slice. What is this mode? Oh my god. Hey, I can float. That's kind of cool. Yeah, take this, Josh. Whoa, dude. Got him big time. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, this weapon's not bad. It puts holes in things. I don't know if it does anything else. <laughs> Chef Pigster's definitely got a little bit of chafing going on under his arms. That poor guy. Oh man, it's almost impossible not to have his arms destroy his whole body. You can make them not collide, but then the arms just fall into his body and that looks even worse. Hey, dude. Yep, there we go. Let's test out the scythe. It's just like doing my own butcher business or something. Just cutting up the bacon. All right, I'm going to get this guy into the acid. Here we go. Oh, his legs have fallen off. All right, in you go, champ. Time to be melted away in the acid. I don't know how well this is going to work. In he goes. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, no. What was that? That was so creepy. <laughs> he bit the road. Oh, and all his teeth are gone. That is gross. Okay, I think we need to get rid of this guy head first. There we go. In you go, dude. Whoa, he just toppled himself around again. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's definitely getting melted. It's a bit slow, but it's working. Yeah, see you later, buddy. God, that was creepy. I have no idea why he ran so fast. There he goes. And the head. Can we bring him back out again? Oh, that's weird. It's so flat. Oh, yeah. The best way to dispose of the evidence. Meanwhile, Josh is still over there just windmilling his arms around. <laughs> just punching Sonic in the head. Hey, dude. Jeez. Personal space. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, do you want a nuke in your mouth? Mmm, yummy. Get that in there. Oh, yeah, that's it. It fits perfectly in his mouth. Oh, he's going to spit it out? What's he going to do? Oh. Oh, careful. Oh, jeez. That would have had to hurt. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely missing his bottom jaw now. And his tongue fell on the ground. Oh, grenade. Hey, that's pretty cool. I wonder how you pull the pin. Ugh, is that thing going to go off? How do you... Oh, I don't even know how to use this thing. Oh, okay. Just, just like that. You hit it with a hammer. On guard, Chef Pigster. Ugh. Man, this sword is hard to use. Ugh. Oh, it doesn't really cut too well. Okay, maybe I can just shoot it at him. If I just point it like this and then go... Ugh. Nah, I think he's way too strong. All right, have some needles then. Loads of needles. Yes. The needler is definitely one of my favorite weapons. I think it's because when it explodes, it sends things flying. It looks so good. All righty, guys. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me try doing to Chef Pigster. And I'll catch you guys next time.